Hey guys, today I'll be doing something special, which is to talk about how to choose your BTO and be a giant hawkway. This is for February BTO exercise, and right now it's already March. I'll do my best to help you choose the right BTO by sharing with you how will I choose my BTO if I am going to buy now. There will be a few considerations that I'll be going through later. So if you like this video, do like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Let's go! Before I share my views, I just want to share that this topic is actually quite sensitive because for people who buy HDB, it's not just for profit making. However, people who come for my channel, they are curious to know what is the potential upside when they are HDB MOP. First of all, let's Google. We go to video Feb 2023. I do love the article by Sid Lee. Uh, this one. For Feb 2023, we have Raja Sami, Farrah Park, Ulu Pandan, Jurong West Crystal, and Brickland Weave. Out of these five BTO, two of them are PLH, means their MOP is 10 years instead of the usual five years. How will I choose the best BTO? There's a few considerations. So number one, how long do I need to wait before it's TOP? Number two, is it a five years MOP or is it a 10 years MOP, which is a PLH? And number three, let's talk about location. And number four, what price should I be getting and what will be the potential upside when it's MOP? And lastly, I'll be sharing what is my top three. Now let's jump into location first. First one, Kalang Wampo. And we have Raja Summit over here, which is just beside your Kalang River. Very far from MRT. Cannot walk one. Uh. Maybe you take a boat, you will reach your MRT station faster. Number two, also Kalang Wampo. But this time, this will be the PLH model because it's located here very near to your Little India MRT station and Ferry Park MRT station. And I know this area, you have shopping mall, you have Piccadilly Grand, which was launched last year. And here is City Fringe. Definitely the price is high. That's why this model is under PLH. The third one is Queenstown, which is Ulu Pandan at Dover area. It's located here, walkable to your Dover MRT station. I even went down to HDB Hub to take this video for you. You can see that this area is totally new and government clear the forest to build your BTO. Leh. That's why your MOP 10 years. Ma. This is a hot area because it's very near to Bona Vista and the properties there are very high in value. There is Star Vista shopping mall. You should have one kilometer to Fairfield Primary School. Next, let's go for the fourth one. And this time something for the West. Located here called Jurong West Crystal. You are literally at the end of Singapore, very near to your Pioneer MRT station. As a Singaporean, I've never even been there before. So if you were to buy near Pioneer MRT station, next time you will upgrade to Forest City over here. Don't buy too far lah guys. Come back to Singapore. Lastly, we have this amazing area, which is the hype area. Teng ah, or teng ah. And I went out to HTV Hub to take video for you as well. It's located here and Copen Grand, the first EC is launched in this part. ACS is moving to this area. So out of these five, only this project has elite school. Out of these five areas, this has the most transformation. If you look at my Copen Grand video, since you're going to wait a number of years before it TOP and you still need to wait for five years MOP, definitely you will get a lot of benefits from this amazing transformation. Like that, finish already, oh. very fast. Oh. So let's go into my summary. Now I'll share with you how I will choose. Lah. Very simple one. Number one, I want to get my keys earlier. So based on the MOP, Raja Summit will be December 2029. Farrah Fields, December 2029. Ulu Pandan, 2030 December. Jurong West Crystal, March 2029. And Tengah, June 2029. From here, you see that is either 2029 or 2030, so not much difference. Number two, consideration. I want to make money as soon as possible, which means MOP date, so that I can upgrade to a better one. To my surprise, Raja Summit is not PLH. MOP in 2034, that is like 11 years from now. Never mind, let's continue. For the two PLH ones, which is the Farrah Park and the Ulu Pandan at Dover, 2039, 
2040. It's like 17 years from now leh. Very old already <laughs> lah. And next for Jurong West Crystal and Tengah. Jurong West will be 2034 and Brickland will be 2034. From here, it's very easy to guess my top 3 already. Out of the 5, I will not choose the PLH because it will take like 17 years before I can upgrade to the next property. So my top 3 will left with these 3 oh. So in 3rd place, if you force me, I will still won't buy lah. It will be Drawn West Crystal because it's really very far and once you stay very far, everywhere you go also very far so you will not even want to come out and your friends will not want to go and visit you. Now let's go for the second place. It's very difficult to, for me to choose a second place because it's a struggle between first choice and second choice. Ho however, for second place, I will choose this. Later, I will share with you why. For second place, will be Tengah. And number one goes to Raja Summit. Why is this so? Next, let's look at the price. For Raja Summit, there are three, four room flat. Price 459k to 631k. For Tengah one, two, three, four, five room, 291,000 to 375,000. If you saw my previous video, video in 2022, which I only do once, you can see that people who buy BTO, they can sell roughly 1.8 to double the price. If you choose a price point that is currently on the higher side, the price point that you can sell later can be potential double. And since you're going to wait for 11 years, it's better for you to buy the biggest one, which is four or five room flat. For five room flat in Tengah, it's 375,000. By the time MOP, you should be selling about 750,000. Whereas for Raja Summit, the four room flat, which is the biggest, if you buy at 631,000, you can potentially sell about 1.25 million 11 years later. I'm worried that if you were to choose a lower price point, even if you sell at double the price, you may be priced out to upgrade to any of the condos. And let's talk about Jurong West. The price point is almost the same as Tengah. Tengah transformation is a lot more than Pioneer, which is not in Singapore. And for those people who are choosing PLH, 17 years is really too long. Lah. I really hope to see every one of you MOP be a giant Huawei so that you can start to upgrade to your two condos later. 17 years is really a long time. Finally, my advice, why don't you guys consider EC as an option? For the video here, you can see that the minimum number of years is almost like 2029, then you will get your keys, which is like six years from now. And EC is faster. You just need to wait for three, four years and another five years to MOP. And not to forget, at the end of MOP, it is still a condo. It's very easy for you to upgrade later. Either you sell or you have a chance to decouple to buy your second property for investment. EC is definitely a better choice and I hope that everyone can consider EC as an option since there's also government grants available. I hope that this video do help you in making the right decision. I can look forward to your MOP and see you grow your property portfolio. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube video and I see you in my next video.